area asked and probably almost by hearting syllabus i was surprised in the ecosystem even teachers can't recall syllabus uh, i was surprised in gs in particular the vast students can tell us you know syllabus of geography in gs like okay. they said something i said no tell me exactly how it's worded and the reason why it's worded like that because if your syllabus is not understood then you're all over the place again i found most of them okay uh, 57 said no maybe and those who said yes also had doubt if they like to study the syllabus you must ask yourself if you have done it or not okay how many toppers have you talked to what to see in this ecosystem there is no dearth of advisors i am sure some of you have become advisors of your juniors also okay i am it's a very uh, in thing uh, one guy who comes one month before in the cycle he becomes advisors for somebody else so there's no dearth of advisors and with the uh, youtube boom and internet boom everybody is a great scholar in upsc preparation okay my my experience tells me the people who should tell you about subject is essentially the people who have qualified i mean it's worth it because it's an examination where you spend almost 3 4 5 years of your life if you call all generations following your life will change your life changing the 100% but the generations that follow the entire society you live in they all get changed so in this kind of a high stake examination i encourage to go and talk to people who have qualified do what it takes like if if i am starting institute i would should talk to people who have been successful in the institute running if i am going to become engineer i better talk to some guys who have become engineer but i found like okay, 78% said they talked to one or two guys and most of them said they had no access to talking to uh, the toppers who qualified and of course this one which subject has best overlap most 60% almost geography has a great overlap i do not know what you have answered though we will add that in our uh, data eventually so this tells me three things number one when you make a choice on optional or study method most of us do not have a structured approach uh, we go by here say you talk some this guy that guy we have a gut feeling and this one ease of study and length of syllabus should not be the criteria when you enter examination of this level now it, it's a high stake examination and i i'm sure uh, you know that fact the exam is very tough i mean if anybody says it's easy okay he does not know the examination or is lying through his teeth okay um 6 100 to 150 to 100 qualify in the proper ias okay and results 900 results to say it's easy it's impossible so your mind should to start a type of required but if you are full, i think we have got the whole process wrong here itself in this preparation there cannot be anything called as ease of study you have to get out of your comfort zones you have to be highly inconvenienced so people come and tell me sir it is a difficult it is unnerving it is fit okay this examination has no compulsion to make you comfortable and uh, if you qualify your life becomes all the more uncomfortable for that matter so ease of study cannot be yeah, at all length of syllabus is a misnomer because if the syllabus is not defined well it will be a short syllabus if defined i'll tell you how are asked beyond the syllabus syllabus you should know but don't choose by small or short syllabus and i of there are some who do interest good number of them have said interest also but this is the how students make choices okay so that is where i begin my